Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen rarely get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Gareth Bale, for me, has got to be the, the standout man. Renowned for his great pace, he also has a crack at shooting range, better than most, and, and he takes a, a very good free kick too. His passing quality, I think that's up there with the best as well. He's a pretty complete and, and quite phenomenal package. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. So it's away we go then. Forward it goes. Well played, he saw that coming. Davis. Wales are still winless after the first quarter of the season. It is quite incredible. Well, it is absolutely incredible, and they've tried pretty much everything to rectify the problem and can't. So I think some of that transfer kitty has got to be spent. Plenty waiting in the middle. And it's Ramsey. Pellegrini. And now they can launch a counter. And that's sprayed out wide. Marco Verratti. Jorginho, and here Immobile! Good stop, that wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Knocks it away. Immobile. It's Immobile! Oh, great save. Real class. Immobile is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Cleared away. Bale goes looking. And it's Bale. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Verratti. There's the crow. Hurls himself at it! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Davis. A 
Marco Verratti. Wales yet to have a shot on target. Spinazzola, and it's played forward. Jorginho plays it short. Jorginho hits it first time! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Chiellini. Panucci. Florenzi. Jorginho drives it forward. Into the channel. It's gone out for a throw in. Gets it, and now what? Tries to get it clear. And it's Verratti. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Hits one! It's off target and by quite a way. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Florenzi. Seen lots of the ball, trying to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Jorginho looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Verratti. Oh, that's neat. So who's he picking out? Great effort, he flew in with courage. Immobile may have slightly misjudged the timing, but there was nothing wrong with the intent. Benucci. Pellegrini, Marco Verratti, Chiesa, what a throw in, Ampadu hoists it forward, well that's where he wants it. Back into the middle. Now can he finish? Oh, well defended, that had... And the shot! Goal! Well, let me assure you that scoring just before half-time is always a real treat. And when it's one of your top talents who delivers it, it just seems to fuel confidence that little bit more. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes.
Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Jorginho. There is the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football. But Rodgers still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Wales don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. Ampadu. Forward pass. Has he found his man? Spinazzola cuts it out. Out to the left it goes. Oh, that's nice. And it's Verratti. Lovely bit of skill there. He's got the ball, he's got the space. Jorginho. And here's him moving, shoots! two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Italy take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Marco Verratti. I think they've got to make a statement now to say to their opposition, we're not giving up without a scrap, to give themselves the belief that this is recoverable. Ramsey gets it out to the wing. Whipped in. And he heaves it forward. Allen tries to get it forward quickly. And it's hoisted clear. Italy have made their intentions clear by leaving men up front. Looking to play on the break? Yeah, it's obvious that they're prepared to take a, a risk or two. Lorenzi goes looking. Ramsey, Davis drives it forward. Spinazzola. Pellegrini. Ferretti tries to switch the play. Chiesa. A really good feat from him. Knocks it away. And it's been taken straight back. Chiesa. Chiesa. Jorginho. Ramsey plays it out to the flank. Now a chance to break. Gets away from his opponents. Gorgeous control there. Time to deliver. Now it's Ramsey. Ramsey. Played out to the right. Chase it out of harm's way. Chiellini. A 
Across the field it goes. Gets into a dangerous position. Done very well to intervene. Oh, nice touch. Just wouldn't be... That's surely a foul free kick. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Tempers are flaring. The referee really needs to get a grip again. Against the crossbar. Well, there's going to be another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Forward it goes. Chip through. And helps available out wide. And Padu can get it clear. Out to the right. And it's Florenzi. Florenzi. Emerson. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And he's there to clear it. Over to the left. Beautifully done. Now it's Immobile. Immobile. Looking for a decent ball in. Ampadu is there and he can get that clear. A real chance to break. And it's played forward. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. Yeah, very careless, and uh, I leave it at that. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Pellegrini. Another throw in. Bonucci was not to be moved. Florenzi hoists it forward. And here's Berardi. Keeps everyone guessing. Goes for the cross. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Wales have fallen short on the day. They're going to need to bounce back from this. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Wales never quite got to grips with this game, Peter. They look slow and cumbersome in trying to counter much sharper opposition. A very poor show. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.